Hey guys, Earthwack here, and today I'm going to actually teach you about ambient sounds, and this is the looper. So, first off, you're going to want to actually choose your sounds. Now, for example, you can go out and get custom sounds or anything like that, but for me, I'm going to focus on a sound from Black Ops 3 itself, from another DLC specifically. So, what you're going to want to do is open up Wraith. Uh, if you don't have Wraith, uh, you can just easily Google it. Uh, find it. I'll have a downloaded link in the description as well. But anyways, what you're going to do is you're actually going to push, well, first you're going to select your game, so Black Ops 3, and you're going to load the file. Keep in mind, you do need to own the DLC. But anyways, you are actually going to go and choose any one of these. So how do you actually get to this one right here is you navigate to your Black Ops 3 root folder, okay? And what you're going to want to do is go to Zone, press SND for sound and you're gonna have two but you're gonna choose all and here you go you have all the files uh, now let's say I want to grab sounds from some so this is uh, Zetsubo no Shima no not Zetsubo no Shima why am I Shino Numa uh, but anyways so you have all the files right here from this to this but what you're going to actually want to be looking for is the highest kilobytes uh, file size to show you which has the most sounds. You can go through any of them you want, it's just they're going to have more sounds and more options. So this one right here has 387,000 kilobytes. So yeah, I think I'm going to open that. Now sometimes it may take a while, if it does, just let it run. But see, now we have all these sounds and we can start uh, looking for stuff, but specifically, I want to see if there's any fly sounds. No, there's not any fly sounds. Uh, what about bug? Nope. Come on, you gotta have like insects or something. Okay, so I opened up some, had to go through a different file, it's okay. But anyways, what you're gonna want to do is, before you even export, click on settings, go to sounds. I like to preserve my file path, uh, but also make sure it's in .wav. Okay, so I found a uh, file that I want, Mosquito Loop, but I want to see if there is any others, bug, okay, uh, there is, no, there's not insects, but that's okay, and fly, firefly dies, oh, here we go, I'm going to go ahead and export those, and I guess we'll do that as well. Okay, so we've got a few sounds, so we can go ahead and close out of this, go to wherever you keep your Wraith, I keep mine in a different file, and then I keep it in a Wraith file. So, wherever you keep it, it's going to generate some files, you're going to go to the Exported Files bin, you're going to click your game that you did, so Black Ops 3, and you're going to click on the map, or file, whatever you exported from, so in my case it was Sumpf, and uh, just these are the little destinations that it's already generated based on those file paths. So I'm going to look in ambient, animals, insects, mosquito, loop, and here's my mosquito sound. Let's go ahead and play this. Perfect, perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Uh, but let's say I'm, gonna, I'm just going to customize this a little bit because I love these. And it is a looping. So I don't think it'll mind, especially with how these are laid out. Just going to insert these. There we go. Okay, so just ignore that I'm making a little custom one. You choose your sound. I just want to see how this sounds when all of them are combined. See, I, I think that's kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just save this or export the audio. Awesome. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your Black Ops 3 folder, shabam shaboom, and you're going to want to go to sound underscore assets. And you can make a folder, you can add it to an existing folder. I'm going to make a new folder really quick, shabam shaboom, 
And I'm just gonna name it Bug. Oh yeah. And we are gonna go ahead and you have to make a folder. And you're gonna go ahead and actually just drag your sound file in there. Awesome, great. Keep this open just in case uh, you need it. I don't need it, but I'm gonna keep it open just to kind of prove a point. And uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to open up your Elias files. So go back to your Black Ops 3 root folder, go to share, raw, sound, Eliases and open up the ambient file that we prepared in the previous video. If you guys need a link to that, here's a little card, shazam, to the previous video uh, on getting this all set up. But anyways, so as you can see, I've got a lot more than you do. You have a little bit uh, of a starter thing, so don't worry about it. Basically, just find your section. I have like an example, like this is an example line I have for you guys. It just has a, ha a hashtag example in front of it. If you just want to use that and you have the sound, just delete the example hashtag. But anyways, uh, find wherever you want. Now, since ours is kind of a looping sound, we're just going to put it in this section. So I'm going to copy this line here so I can keep all of the functions the same or the priorities, settings, whatever. Okay, so go to the end of the line, press enter, and then paste it. Now, give it a name. Uh, this is going to be the name of the Elias that you're going to be calling later. So, I'm going to name it Flies. Okay? And you're going to want to figure out the folder that it is in. So, for me, it's in Bug. Folder Bug. So, Shazam. And the name of the... No, I don't want to open it and you want the name of the file. Boop. So mosquito underscore loop dot wav. And this is a little bit complicated, but it's honestly not. If you want to see like everything lined up, you can put it in like Google Spreadsheet or Excel or something like that. But anyways, uh, what this is, is this is the minimum volume that it's going to play. Now because this is kind of flies and it's probably going to be a little bit annoying, I'm going to make it like a minimum of 50. And the next one right after it is a maximum. So maximum that I'm going to make it is probably around a 75. Just kind of keep it a little bit quiet. And this is going to be its radius. So like how far it is. <sighs> Let me check. Okay, so this is the minimum distance that it's going to go. Uh, I'm going to have it go like a minimum distance of 200, doesn't hurt. And I'm going to have it go a maximum distance of um, 280. And then the max distance way, I don't know why you need this, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to keep it up to date. So there we go. If anything, I'll just put a 1 in it if I want to. And you're pretty much good to go. So keep this open, though, again, so I can prove a point. And file save. Now we're going to go into Radiant. So go to the launcher and open up your map in Radiant. Okay, so now that you've got your map loaded up, what you're going to want to do, I'm going to hide my volumes for you guys really quickly, uh, but anyways, you are going to want to go wherever you want your sound. For me, I want my sound where my flies are. Makes kind of sense. Okay, so what you're actually going to want to do is press B, and you can favorite this if you want, but anyways, go to sound, and again, we have a looper, so you're going to want to drag this on. And it's a blue sexy little box. <laughs> so drag this like wherever it is. Okay, we got our flies right there. Pretty cool. Now if we press N to see what's going on inside, uh, we see that it has script underscore label looper. Awesome, cool. Don't mess with anything. The only thing you're going to mess with is this script underscore sound. And this is where 
you put your Elias name. So for my Elias name, it was called Flies. So, Flies. Boom, I'm done. Now, if I were to go in the game, I would start hearing flies once I walk near this area. And then you can constantly control the volume if it's too loud or too quiet uh, within the Elias file. So again, I'm just going to save this. We don't need this anymore, so I'm going to close. And file save. Now what you want to do is want to compile light and link and we're gonna see what this looks like in game okay guys so I noticed a mistake uh, during the compiling and you guys probably caught me earlier and it's a very easy one that you can catch on uh, but you do need to make sure you're not having errors okay so I accidentally put the wrong names <laughs> on the wrong files so uh, that's easy we don't have to spend forever and recompile all that stuff. If anything, all we need to do is relink. So if we go back into our Elias, I see, oh, I accidentally gave uh, <laughs> the wrong name. So uh, let's see, let's see, 50 to 75. Okay, so I see what I did here. We're going to go ahead and name this house and name this bonfire. I don't know how I mixed this up, but I did. And name this flies. And then the folder is bug. Okay guys, we're back in game. I actually went ahead and made my actual sound file louder and also the settings a little bit smaller because they were kind of hard to hear. Already we can hear it. Now I might go ahead and just turn that down in these settings, but it is working. That's how you set up the good settings. See as I'm moving, it gets quieter, and when I get closer, it gets louder. tutorial I'll teach you guys about the impacts Let me just go ahead go. so I was walking over a little bit of impact and it was making little puddle noises so if I put it over puddle it'll actually sound like I'm walking on a puddle and if you notice, it has variations when I walk over it. It's not always the same. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a clip just to also show you the bonfire example. Because I feel like it's a better example. Okay, and that's it. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. If this really did help you out, uh, just give me some credit. But also, just thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.